Universal Simulator. Item number, SCP-1190. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1190 is to be contained in a secured, temperature-controlled observation room. The observation room must provide accommodations for long-term living, to include a cot for sleeping, a restroom, and a food preparation area. Video surveillance equipment is to be installed outside the observation windows to record the device's output, as well as any input provided by SCP-1190-1. All recordings from the surveillance equipment are to be permanently archived for study. A nurse or nurse assistant must be available to care for SCP-1190-1. Nurse duties include delivery of food, bathing, feeding, application of medicine, administration of intravenous feeding systems, and other tasks necessary for the care of a potentially severely disabled person. Personnel are not to interact directly with SCP-1190 except for D-Class personnel cleared to be used as test subjects. Any D-Class subjects to be used for testing SCP-1190 are to be cleared with site administration for a stay of execution during the course of the experiment. Procedure update following experiment 1190-1. The floor of the observation room must have a central drain for eliminating waste. Procedure update following experiment 1190-2. SCP-1190 is to be powered at all times, with backup batteries and a diesel generator in case of power failure. Description. SCP-1190 is a 1973 Hewlett-Packard 3000 computer system. Installed on the device is a program which performs a physics simulation, beginning with the known origins of the universe. Observation of the simulation suggests that it is capable of simulating physical phenomena beyond our current understanding. While running the program, SCP-1190 exhibits an explicably powerful processing capability, an anomaly which does not persist while the device performs other tasks. Attempts to decompile the program or to move it to a different device have failed. The program appears to be corrupt to all observations and actions beyond running it on SCP-1190. Aside from its anomalous performance characteristics and the inexplicably accurate logic used by the simulation, the only other notable physical characteristic of SCP-1190 is that it is unusually well maintained for its age. Otherwise, it appears to be a normal example of a computer of its make and model. When the program is executed on SCP-1190, the screen displays, press enter to begin. Any individual who activates the program stored on SCP-1190 will become fascinated with the simulation. The individual will want to intervene in the development of the virtual universe to cause it to proceed according to the individual's personal ideals. The individual is designated SCP-1190-1. Over time, SCP-1190 will become more obsessed with the simulation, increasingly neglecting personal needs in favor of managing the virtual universe. Documentation of known commands can be obtained with consent from at least one personnel having clearance level 2 1190 or greater. However, the documentation is believed to be far from complete. Each new subject intuits new commands over time, and while video of the subject's input and the observable results on the simulation have been archived, the exact effects of many commands haven't yet become clear. History SCP-1190 came to the attention of the Foundation via an asset embedded in the Security Department of Blank Laboratories. On Blank, a janitor at Blank Laboratories reported to security that an unpleasant smell was coming from a disused office. In the office, the responding security officer found a researcher who was thought to have been missing for several weeks, D.C., hereby designated SCP-1190-1-A. Operating SCP-1190 when surrounded by days of her own refuse and waste. SCP-1190-1-A had at some point brought several days worth of food and water to the office, but only a small amount of water remained. SCP-1190-1-A displayed symptoms of stage 3 starvation, flaking skin, thinning hair, and insufficient strength to sit up properly. However, SCP-1190-1-A was still operating SCP-1190 while muttering inaudibly. The security officer attempted to administer aid, but SCP-1190-1-A was uncooperative until the officer disconnected the power to SCP-1190. SCP-1190-1-A became violent and attempted to attack the officer, but because of the aforementioned symptoms was easily subdued. 
SCP-1190-1-1 A expired from systemic infection secondary to starvation while being rushed to the hospital. Transcript of video taken by security officer. Officer. D, is that you? Oh, it stinks in here. Are you okay? SCP-1190-1-A. Inaudible. Officer. Holy! Expletive redacted. D, your hair, your skin! What happened to you? Sec ops, we need medical on floor. Blank. Office. Blank. Immediately. Oh, what the hell are you sitting in? Stay with me, girl. SCP-1190-1-A. Inaudible. Officer attempts to remove SCP-1190-1-A from the terminal, but she resists. Officer. Hey, what's going on here? You need help. Let me help you. Officer waves a hand in front of SCP-1190-1-A and gets no response. The officer then unplugs SCP-1190 from the wall. Officer. You've got to focus. Stay with me. SCP-1190-1-A. You... You killed them. Murder, you killed them all! SCP-1190-1-A attempts to lunge at the officer, but lacks the strength to stay upright and collapses. SCP-1190-1-A claws at the officer's legs. Officer. What are you doing? You've got to hold still. Ouch! Hey, I'm here to help you! The officer restrains SCP-1190-1-A with a pair of handcuffs. Officer. Sec ops, you better get a stretcher up here, something with restraints. I just found D and she is delirious and in bad shape. SCP-1190-1-A. Billions. You killed billions. They needed me. I gave them paradise and you killed them. Monster! SCP-1190 was taken into containment by the Foundation on blank. 